A Madison parent is taking on big tech this five years after her son died playing the choking game he learned online. It's where kids use their own hands to restrict their breathing and make themselves lose consciousness. NBC 15's Marcus Arswold spoke to his mother wanting the internet to change. Annie McGrath won't rest until she's done everything she can to make it harder for children to access dangerous content online. When she's not visiting her 13-year-old son's grave, she's pushing for legal action against Alphabet, Google and YouTube's parent company. We're trying to save any other kids, you know, if only to save one life. Last week, Madison mom Annie McGrath spoke directly to YouTube and Google. Her claim, the internet is killing kids and online corporations don't care enough to change. They want to market to kids and the more like audacious and crazy and risky is the things that are getting views and that's their next market so of course they don't want to. Alphabet owns YouTube and Google. In its annual public stakeholders meeting Thursday at one point board members addressed online safety. We are truly sorry for your loss. Even mentioning McGrath's son Griffin by name. As such our board of directors believes that the assessment requested by this proposal would not be an effective use of company resources or result in better direction or performance and recommends a vote against this proposal. Alphabet Assistant Secretary Catherine Hall says YouTube flags dangerous videos. She claims 5.6 million videos were removed during quarter four in 2022 and the majority were gone before they reached 10 views. And when content crosses the line and violates our community guidelines, we remove it as quickly as possible using a combination of machine learning and human reviewers. How does it feel when they just give you a sorry? It's just fake. It doesn't. It's just callous. McGrath takes her fight to Washington, D.C. annually, along with other parents whose children have died. This year, she hopes the Senate passes the Kids Online Safety Act. It gives us a little purpose, and every time we hear another kid dying, we just say, do something, you know, and we're just trying to scream it everywhere we can. McGrath says five Wisconsin parents reached out to her after NBC 15's initial story in 2021 with similar stories. She says they're working on passing local legislation as well as national. In the studio, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News.